हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज लॉन्गेस्ट सब स्ट्रिंग विदाउट रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर्स वी आर गिवन विद स्ट्रिंग वी नीड टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ लॉन्गेस्ट सब स्ट्रिंग विदाउट रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर्स सो लेट्स जम्प टू द पेन एंड पेपर एंड लेट्स सी हाउ दिस एग्जाम्पल वर्क एंड हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग एस टू गिव द लेंथ ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट सब स्ट्रिंग विदाउट रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर्स सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द सब स्ट्रिंग which do not contain any repeating character and out of those substrings i need to find out the largest one and then i need to return the length of that particular substring for this question brute force solution will be i will take out all the potential substrings and then i will compare all of them i find out the largest substring that do not have any repeating character but problem with this solution is this solution is of n cube which is pretty expensive and not good because for that we i need to take out all the potential substrings in this way i will take loops then i will take another loop to check whether it contain any repeating character or not and then i need to find out the length so what can be a better solution if i will start from a and while moving forward in the string i will keep checking whether the character i am at right now i have seen it before or not so what do i mean by this is suppose i am at a so i am seeing a for the first time i will add one to my length then i came to b b is also coming for the first time i will add one again i come to c c is also coming for the first time i will add one more to my length then i will come to a but we have seen a before so for that so as i was moving forward i will keep taking my starting point and the index i am right now so whenever i will encounter something which i have seen before i will increase my starting point by 1 so now my starting point start from b and my i ends at a so this particular technique is called sliding window technique so we will use sliding window technique but now again the question arises how we will going to take care of but now the question arises how we will come to know that whether this particular character we have seen before or not so for that we will use another data structure and we will use dictionary for that so while moving forward i will keep checking whether this character is in the dictionary or not and if that's the condition i will increment my start point by 1 and at the end and i will take out my length by i minus start plus 1 so i will going to be my index i am right now start will going to be my start point and i'm adding 1 because i will be taking a for loop with range so our range start from 0 so that's why i am adding 1 so let's write the code i am pretty sure after seeing the code you will be more clear with the question once we will be done with the code we will do a dry run for that particular code so let's write the code first of all let's check the base case if length of string s is 0 then we will simply return 0 and we will take a dictionary by name of map and let's take the max length and start point both will be pointing at 0 for i in range length of s if si in map and start is less than equal to value of si then start will gonna be map si 
plus 1 else our max length will be max of max length and i minus start plus 1 and map equal to and at the end we will return max length what i'm doing here is i first took a dictionary then i take two variable max length and start then i loop through the string as then i'm checking whether particular character is in the dictionary or not and if start value is less than or equal to the value of that particular character in the string if that's the case then i am increasing my value of start else if that's not the case i'm checking my max length which will be the max of max length and my new length which is i minus start plus one so how i'm calculating this is i'm at ith position minus the start point but i'm adding one because range start from zero not from one and at the end i'm just returning it back it's worked perfectly fine if you will copy the code and paste it in the lead code it will gonna definitely work you can find the code in the description below let's do a try run I have written the code and I have taken the example and I have the dictionary with me. So I am at A. I check whether the A is in the dictionary or not. So that's not the case. So I came to else. So I will calculate my max length. So my max length is 0 initially. So I am calculating between max of 0 and i which is 0 minus it should be minus minus start which is 0 plus 1 now my max length is 1 i came to b i checked whether b is in the dictionary or not so it's not so i will again calculate my max length and that will come out be 2 then i will come to c i will check whether c is in the dictionary or not so again it's not in the dictionary again i will calculate my max length and this time it will become 3 and i will put c into the dictionary then i come to a then i check whether a is in the dictionary yes it is then what i will gonna do I'm gonna set the start equal to value of si which is 0 plus 1 start will be 1 now instead of 0 then I come to B that again checked it's here now my start will become 2 then I will again come to C it's there now my start will become 3 and in this way i will keep calculating my max length and i will keep incrementing my start point and at the end i will return the max length so i hope you understood the question if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any question you can email us thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe